All right guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing another versus video. And what we got going head to head today is the AR9. And in this instance, this is my Spikes Tactical 8.3 inch nine millimeter build. It is a Glock fed uh, nine millimeter pistol. So we got that and it's going up against, of course, the CZ Scorpion. So like I said, we're just gonna do a fun little versus video today. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons, some likes and dislikes that are in my opinion, and uh, and then pick a winner at the end. So I guess we'll start off with the Scorpion since I've already got it in hand. Uh, but as you can see, I've done a lot to, to this particular Scorpion, and all of them are features that I think are a good upgrade, at least again in my opinion. So I guess we'll start off, we'll, we'll talk about what I've got changed on here and whether or not the factory part that I changed out was a pro or con or whatever. But right here on the back, this is my newest addition to it, and in my opinion, the best upgrade that you could possibly do to one of these. And this is the SB Tactical Side Folding Brace. This thing is absolutely fantastic. When it folds to the side, it, it's spring, it's got spring tension on it so it doesn't flop around on you, it stays nice and tight. Um, and then you can lock it open and, uh, and use it as a brace or whatever. And it's been working out absolutely fantastic. And what I like about this is I can fold this thing up and jam it down into a backpack. So that is a huge uh, pro and a, and a like for, for me. I, I, this is absolutely awesome. So I do like that, but it can be fired without this on it. So that's another pro for the Scorpion is it doesn't have a buffer tube that you have to use in order for the thing to run. You can fold this thing to the side and run it. You can take this thing completely off and still run it because of the way it's you know set up on the inside, no buffer tube design. So huge pro for the CZ Scorpion. And down here, I've got the Apex Tactical uh, enhanced grip on here. And I guess this is gonna be another out of the box con for the Scorpion. Again, in my opinion, is the factory grip on it. I'll throw up a factory picture you so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But the grip that comes on the Scorpion from the factory has a very, very steep angle to it. I mean, I don't know why they're still using that. It seems like everybody that I've talked to and all the forums that I've read, people absolutely hate the grip angle and even the new ones that they're releasing have that same grip on it and I don't know why but it's absolutely terrible but I replaced it with this apex grip and uh, it's been working out absolutely fantastic has a much more vertical grip angle to it much more comfortable to use it does have these uh, additional uh, sandpaper grip side panels on it it's been working out great uh, also from apex is their ambidextrous safeties and this is going to be one of the pros and the cons for the Scorpion. Uh, a pro is it does come from the factory ambidextrous, but the right side for a right-handed shooter, uh, the, the, the safety that comes on it from the factory is absolutely awful. It is very sharp and it sticks way out. So when you're using it, that thing is digging into the side of your trigger finger like no other. Very, very painful to use. And if you buy a Scorpion, that's probably the first thing that I would recommend doing is either deleting the right side or putting something on there like these Apex safeties, which have been working out fantastic. These are the longer levered ones. They do offer a short uh, levered version if that's what you wanna go with, but I've been having great luck with these longer levers and I absolutely love them. So pro and a con for the Scorpion with the safety. Now, another big pro for the uh, Scorpion is gonna be the magazines, both in availability and cost. Because a lot of sub guns that are out there on the market, the, the MPX, for example, the mags are hard to get and they're very expensive. They're like 50 to $75 last time I looked per magazine, and that's when you can find them. But these, this one here is a 30 rounder. It does come with two 20 rounders. These are readily available and they're very cost effective. Last time I looked these up, I can't remember what website it was from, but I seen they had them on sale for like $17.99 a piece for the uh, 30 rounders. And I think it was a couple bucks less for the 20 rounders. So big pro for the Scorpion is the magazines in both price and availability. And again, being ambidextrous out of the box is the magazine release. Right here, as you can see, I'm pushing it from the other side, but you can just reach up, hit it with your thumb, pull the mag out. So easy mag changes, ambidextrous controls on the magazine release, another big pro for the Scorpion. So up here on the front, you're gonna notice that it does have pick rails on the three, six, and nine o'clock. So you can add whatever you need to. On the bottom, you can see I've got the Magpul AFG, working out great. Uh, on this side, I do have a Streamlight TLR1. So when it's mounted, all I gotta do is push my finger out and you can see that it comes on. So that's working out perfect. I don't have anything on this side. 
and mainly because it does have a side charging handle. So you have to get up here to grab the charging handle to run it. So if you have too much on this left side, it's going to be hard to get to your uh, side charge handle. So I kind of leave this side slick just for that reason. But uh, but again, it does have the uh, the side charger. So it's there's no. Uh, uh, charging handle here in the back. I do like this feature on here. You can use this, pull it back, lock the bolt open, get your mags in, do whatever you need to do. If you have a malfunction, you can you can lock it open, get that cleared out. So I do like the uh, the side charge handle on the Scorpion. So in my opinion, that's a pro uh, for me. So I really do like that. Now the sights that come on this, yes, these are the factory sights, both front and rear. So this is another pro um, and a like in, in my book is the sights. A lot of companies anymore don't put sights on the guns when they come out because they just assume that the end user is going to use whatever sights they want or go with an optic or something like that. But CZ included these and these are actually really, really nice sights. So not only are they giving you sights, unlike other companies, but they're actually giving you a really nice set of sights. So that's another big like and a pro in my book for uh, the Scorpion. And overall, in my experience with it so far, I don't know how many rounds exactly I had through this. I know it's over 500, so not a ton, but I haven't had a single issue whatsoever uh, running various different types of ammo through this thing. So it's been 100% reliable, it's lightweight, it's affordable, easy to use, and uh, it's just been a great, great uh, little nine millimeter pistol. And I do have a hollow sun red dot up top just to top everything off. Um, so those are, there's a lot of pros to this. I guess the only cons, you know, other than some of the factory parts is um, there's not a whole lot of aftermarket support. Now there's a lot more companies getting on board doing stuff as far as, as like triggers and, and different hand guards and stuff like that. Now we do have companies like Apex doing these parts, but as far as like triggers and stuff go, not a whole lot of aftermarket support, especially compared to like the AR style that we're going to take a look at next. I know HB Industries does offer a trigger and a spring kit, but I think that's about the only option for uh, the Scorpion as of right now. But overall, the Scorpion is fantastic and I do highly recommend it to anybody looking for an affordable nine millimeter little sub gun style, um, if that's something that you're looking for. And also you can tell this one's in FTE, but they do offer it in black. And I do believe they just released a newer one in OD green. So you do have some color options if that's something that you're interested in. But overall, I really do like the Scorpion. So now let's take a look at the AR9 and I'll go over some of its features. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. Take a look at the AR9. Now this one in particular is my Spikes Tactical build. I built this one from parts. I do have videos up on the channel putting it together if you guys wanna see that. Uh, so this isn't a factory gun. This is one that I put together, but uh, but it's been, it's been great so far. I really do enjoy it. And I guess we'll go over what I've got done to this so far and then talk about some of the pros and cons, but I've got a uh, shockwave blade brace on the CAC tube. We do have a, uh, a dual sling loop here on the back to mount slings to it. I've got an ergo grip on it. Uh, let's see, a Midwest Industries nine and a quarter inch handguard, 8.3 inch spikes, nine millimeter barrel. We do have the CAC micro flash can hiding under the rail. I think that looks absolutely awesome. Uh, it is Glock fed, so it does take Glock magazines. Got a Magpul hand stop, Magpul sights, uh, spikes tactical. Uh, bolt carrier group in there. We got a spikes buffer, wolf, uh, extra power carbine spring, and then just a standard mil spec trigger. So that's kind of a rundown on everything that I've got done to this one. So the pros of this, uh, the biggest one is going to be the similarities between this and like a standard AR-15. If you're used to running a standard AR-15, you're gonna feel right at home with one of these rifles or one of these pistols, however you got it configured, because a lot of the parts that are used on your standard AR-15 are standard on this. You got your standard AR triggers, grips, safeties, uh, bolt release, rails, everything pretty much is gonna be the same as your AR-15. It's just some of the parts are gonna be different um, then you know it's gonna be nine millimeter parts. So that those parts are gonna be different, but if you're used to running an AR and you want something in nine millimeter, if you get one of these or build one of these, you're gonna be right at home because all the controls and everything are gonna be the same, which leads to another pro for the uh, AR9s is there's gonna be, there's all gonna be a lot of triggers out there available for it. There's gonna be ambi safeties and different grips and different, all the different accessories that you can put on an AR, you can put on here. So unlike the Scorpion that's kind of lacking in the accessory department, uh, this one 
the, the sky's the limit. You can do whatever. There's parts everywhere to do these things up however you want it. So that's going to be one huge pro to it. Now, there are a few options when you go to buy one of these or put one of these together. With this one here, it's Glock fed. So if you have Glocks, which most of us do, all your magazines are going to work with this gun. They do also offer them in a Colt uh, pattern style. And I can't remember if they started doing Beretta's Beretta style mags or not, I don't know, but I do know they do Colt and I do know that they do the Glock. And of course I chose Glock. I've got a ton of Glock magazines uh, from over the years having all the different Glocks that I've had and it's been working out great. Now another feature of this one in particular that's a huge pro is it does have the last round bolt hold open and it is built into the lower. It works out great and uh, so that's a huge feature of it. Not all of them have it. So if this was one that didn't have it, of course it would be a con for me in my book because I do like having the last round bolt hold open. It's just something that I like. I know some people could care less, but I do like it. So this one having it in particular is a pro. Not all of them do, so if it didn't, that would be a con. Um, but overall, guys, <laughs> there's a lot of pros to this and not a whole lot of cons. I guess one con is going to be, at least compared to the Scorpion, is this one is AR style. So you've got a buffer, a spring, and all that stuff back here. So you can't take this off, fold it to the side, and still use it. Now you can put like a law folder on this and fold it over, you know, to make it more compact to put it in the backpack or something like that. But you can't fire it that way. So that's going to be a con, at least compared to the Scorpion. But you still can fold it and uh, be able to do that. And then, of course, all your standard AR sights and optics and whatever you want to put on here, charging handles, all that stuff is going to be interchangeable with the, the ton of them that's out there on the market for the AR-15. So again, the biggest pro is going to be compatibility, parts availability, com, you know, with the, all the AR stuff that's out there. The, the cons are going to be you can't fold it and fire it like you can some of the other sub guns out there on the market. The 9mm parts aren't as available, I guess, uh, as of yet. I know Spikes makes some good stuff, Palmetto and a few other companies, uh, but there's not a whole lot of companies making all the nine millimeter parts. So I guess that could sort of be a con, but, um, but it seems like day by day, more people are jumping on board with it, with how popular these things are becoming. Um, so yeah, I guess that's kind of some pros and cons, some of my likes and dislikes of the AR-9. Okay, so now the big question, if I could only have one, if I had to choose one over the other, which one am I going to choose? Both of them are fantastic guns. Both of them have a ton of pros, more than the cons on each side. Uh, so both of them are excellent and, uh, and highly recommended. I would, e I would recommend either one of these, but if I had to choose one, which one am I going to go with? I am going to go with the CZ Scorpion. I just think that this gun offers a little bit more than the AR-9 does. It's known for its reliability. It's been 100% for me. I know it has been for a lot of other people. It has the ability to be folded, fired folded, and I do like having that feature. And overall, guys, I just think that the Scorpion, for me, for what I like it for, for what I want to use it for, is the better choice. But am I saying that the AR-9 is a bad choice and you shouldn't buy one? Absolutely not. If you can, if you can get both of them. Them because you will you'll be hap absolutely happy with either one but if I had to choose just one I'm going with the scorpion I just think that the uh, the pros that this one has over what this has suit me better so I'm going CZ scorpion so definitely let me know down in the comment section below which one would you choose if you could only have one would you take the scorpion would you go with an AR9 whether it's factory built or one that you can build let me know which one you would choose if you could only have one uh, but anyhow guys thank you all for coming and hanging out I do appreciate you guys stopping by and before you take off make sure you do check the description box I've always got a ton of stuff listed down there I got social media links channel sponsors and a big list of companies for you guys to go show some love to because they have helped out the channel in one way or another so go check them out let them know that I sent you I would greatly appreciate that and also I do have ways to support the channel if that's something that you want to do I've got affiliate links patreon all that different type of stuff listed down there if it's something that you want to do but anyhow guys I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching and we'll catch you in the next one